Happiness, I feel like for so many people, is like this elusive unicorn that we chase around our whole lives and it finds really awesome hiding spots and you're always getting close and then it fucking takes off and finds a new hiding spot. I submit, happiness is a choice and all you have to do is fucking shoot that unicorn with a bow and arrow right through the neck and then throw that shit over your shoulder and jog around with them on your shoulder for the rest of your life. That's what I think happiness is. Hi, my name is Leon, and welcome to another Real Talk, where I flip my camera on for 10 minutes, talk to you, and then I edit it, and then I upload it. It's riveting, I know, and Siskel and Ebert give it one thumb halfway, because one of them's dead. So there's only one thumb. Maybe that one person has two thumbs, so that doesn't really make sense. I just want to touch briefly on Lamar Odom. He has obviously been uh, in the headlines this past week, and I wanted to set the record straight. There's No, I'm just kidding. There's no record to set straight. It's really, it's, it's sad, honestly. At the end of the day, it's a sad thing. The guy was found basically half dead at a brothel in Nevada. My question is like, what happened? What happened to this guy? Like, he's had the type of life that many people dream of. NBA player, uh, millionaire, in the spotlight for most of his life, dated a high profile celebrity. And we live in a time and a culture where money and fame kind of dominate media and, and people's desires. You know, everyone wants to make more money, of course. Everybody wants to be powerful and. A lot of people want to be rich and famous, and obviously with the exception uh, of many, but for the most part, people want money and fame and fortune. And clearly, for Lamar Odom, that didn't work out very well. You know, I feel as though it's kind of a paradox. We live in a country where so many people want to be rich and famous, and yet we see so many instances where people that are rich and famous are actually miserable. There's this misconception, I think, that when you get to that level or you reach your goals or your dreams, all of a sudden, all of life's problems go away. They don't worry about how do I make my rent this month. They don't worry about how am I gonna feed my kids. I think for many, they think that once you get to this point where money becomes a non-issue, all of a sudden happiness is an automatic thing. Obviously, this is coming from my own perspective in life, which is shaped by a collective of all of my experiences up to this point so it's different for everybody one thing it's good to remind ourselves of because i'm guilty of this all the time getting caught up in striving to be better getting caught up in working towards a goal making money getting in better shape being healthier working harder we forget to be right here right now and just have gratitude for where we are and I don't want to be preachy, I get, uh, you know, I watch a lot of online stuff and it's like everyone has a soapbox and a pedestal and I don't want to do that. This is just the way I see it. Be fucking grateful. I have no idea how I got from Lamar Odom to this, but let me try and nutshell it for you. Lamar Odom, I feel bad for the poor bastard. Uh, the internet is either, oh, I'm praying for him or, oh, they're criticizing him or the Kardashians are brought into it. It's this huge mess. You know what? Just forget about that shit. Just use this particular incident. Use it as a forum to raise the question for yourself. If I go to the top of my field and make millions of dollars, is that gonna make me happy or am I gonna end up being found unconscious in a brothel in Nevada? Happiness, I feel like for so many people, is like this elusive unicorn that we chase around our whole lives and it finds really awesome hiding spots and you're always getting close and then it fucking takes off and finds a new hiding spot. I submit, happiness is a choice and all you have to do is fucking shoot that unicorn with a bow and arrow right through the neck and then throw that shit over your shoulder and jog around with them on your shoulder for the rest of your life. That's what I think happiness is.